Hey Boo Buddies, welcome back to my channel and a journal with me spread. Today I am setting up my summer reading challenge. I'm doing something a little different than I normally do with my book logging and uh, not doing any grading or stars or summaries with the books. I tend to keep most of that in my book log, which is a separate notebook with a separate process of how I log that. For this summer reading challenge, I am just making a nice visual graph that I can keep in my regular bullet journal and follow along as I go for what comes out to be 99 days of reading a goal of 30 books. That, of course, means that when I made this graph and post this video, the challenge has already begun. My start date being June 1st and my end date being Labor Day, which is September 7th. What I wanted to do with this style of spread is give myself a bit of like an advent calendar-esque uh, feel with giving myself a space for marking the covers of all the books that I have read and also having blank spaces for all the books that are still to come to meet the challenge. This method really opened up a, a different way for me to uh, count the books that I read from the way I normally book log where first of all I can actually do rereads which normally I don't. I don't log in my book log and I also, because of the style that I chose with the marking of the covers, um, I had to kind of plot out a to-be-read pile, which I normally don't do. I normally will just pick up a book and if I read it and finish it, I count it. And if I don't like it, I move on to the next thing and I don't worry about what I plan to read and what I didn't. Uh, and I found a lot of enjoyment in reading that way. I don't know if you have noticed it yet, but I certainly at this point haven't. Uh, there is a very big uh, problem with my grid and my math so far. As I said, this is a 30 book summer reading challenge and I don't, I don't know what went wrong with, with my counting, but as um, there's more than 30 boxes there. When I finally did realize it, I stopped and had to think about how to fix it and how to adjust and whether or not I should just start over and cover these pages with, with black paper and redo the grid so that it made sense. But at the last second, I decided it's better to just work with your mistakes instead of trying to cover them up and pretend they never happened. There was also something else going on in the world at the same time that I had already started this challenge and it ended up working really well with something I hadn't planned on doing but then ultimately decided I would do which also goes into effect of why I am covering up just the bottom row of extra boxes and leaving the last two blank. So, as I said already, I had already started this challenge before uh, I made this, this grid and posted this video. So, what I ended up changing this to is not just 30 random books read in 99 days in one summer, but actually decided to up it to 30 books by uh, black and diverse authors read for the summer reading challenge as what is happening in the world and in the news starts to fade from the public eye, I think the very least uh, any of us can do after we've marched, after we've donated, after we've done what we can during, during this time uh, is keep reading and keep listening and keep learning. So I am absolutely using this summer reading challenge as an excuse to diversify my reading uh, library more and more. As far as supplies that I used, I had some black craft paper that I've had for a million years and 
some brown paper bag that I cut up and I use purple washi tape because I kind of get a little too neutral and grayscale in my bullet journal and I wanted some extra color. I have these I love reading stickers that are circular and I, I don't really like putting circular stickers in my journals so I brought out the scissors. As I already said, uh, doing the spread in this way kind of took some planning, so I already had a TBR pile set out when I printed out my covers. So I already have covers uh, ready to go of the books I plan to read and the books that I have read. And um, the first two books that I had already read for this challenge were already done before I decided to switch it up and use this challenge as an educational opportunity. And you'll notice that I left the two extra boxes after the 30 mark blank uh, for that ambitious goal of actually doing 30 diverse books in the summer challenge. I cut out all my little mini covers that I printed out and I just store them in the back pocket of the journal ready to be glued in when they are accomplished and um, I have included a list of 10 books by black authors to get your own TBR list going. Thank you for watching and for more creations you can follow me on these platforms. Until next video boo buddies.